soon showing you guys all of the bucket hats that I've made recently, so let's go ahead and get into the video. So I'm going to grab all the perfumes and put them up right here, and then we will see which one I want to talk about first. I can't decide. Oh, and then we also have like a fifth one, like kind of like an honorable mention. So let's go ahead and start with the one that I wear most often. So, the fragrance that I wear the most often is by Jimmy Choo. And this is their classic perfume. It's the original one. I believe, not like the original, original. I'm not sure. But this is just like Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo. And the bottle has all these little like circle ridges on it. It's kind of like a smoky color. A smoky pinkish toned color. And let's pull up the fragrance notes for you guys. So in here we have the top notes and just a little rundown if you guys aren't familiar. The top notes are like the initial ones that you smell. The heart notes, um, I forget what the heart notes are, but then the base notes are the ones that like linger the longest and those are like the like powerhouse of the fragrance, you know, they're going to last longer. So it's kind of like a story, like you, you feel out the fragrance and it's not just going to be like one thing, it's going to evolve the longer you wear it. So the top notes in this are sweet Italian orange and pear nectar. Are tiger orchid, and then the base notes are toffee and patchouli. So, for me, I just feel like whenever a fragrance is made really, really well, you almost like can't smell every single thing individually because it's such a good quality blend. Like, they did a fantastic job on this, so I can't be like, oh, yeah, that's the Italian orange. Oh yeah, that's the pear nectar. Like, I just don't really feel that way about it. I feel like this I wear the most often because... It's a very bright fragrance without being, like, fresh and clean smelling. Like, I'm not really a fan of those types of fragrances. I am more on, like, the gourmand, sweet rich side, but not like a candy sweet. It's more like a toffee, caramel, caramel, very like hearty, warm fragrance. That's kind of what I'm more into. So my favorite part about this that I actually can smell for sure is the toffee and the patchouli, and that's the base note. And if you're not a huge patchouli person, I don't think you're going to hate this because it doesn't really like reek of patchouli, like it doesn't really smell super masculine. It's just a really nice fragrance if you're the type of person who doesn't want like a florally feminine fragrance, but you also don't really want like a masculine smoky fragrance. It's just like the perfect center point of like, okay, She's, she's a little mysterious. She is very, here's what the description says. On the Jimmy Choo website, it says, imagine femininity, luxury, and style. A fragrance enveloping the woman with sensuality and seduction with warm, rich, and woody depths. Inspired by modern women, strong, empowered, beautiful, seductive, and alluring with a mysterious sense of confident sensuality. So I know they always like beef up those descriptions, but to me, it's a very good everyday fragrance. I don't like really heavy fragrances that give you a headache, obviously. This is, it's strong, like it lasts throughout the entire day, but it's not like whenever you wear it, like that's the only thing you can think of is like, oh my god, this perfume is so strong. It's not like that. And the longer you wear it, the more it like melts into your skin and it, you know, mixes with your, your natural oils and your pheromones and all that different stuff. And it is just such a warm and cozy fragrance, but also like very, very like bright, but in a 
sensual way, not like a, I'm trying to think of like the word, what am I trying to think of? Um, let me just look it up really quickly while we're on here. Fragrance types. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna insert pictures on here so it's more like educational in nature. Okay, like watery, like aquatic, you know what I mean? Those like, um, like sea salt and like all those. It's not like that at all. And it's not citrusy either. It doesn't smell like that. Although there is like the pear and the orange. It's not like that's the first thing you smell. You almost smell the sensual side of it. And it, it is a little bit bright, but in a very doable way. It's not like I'm wearing oranges on my skin. So if this sounds like you, you would definitely really, really like this. It's like a woody fragrance. So if you're the type, if we're talking gender here, sorry, but if you are the type of woman who like doesn't want to smell very like womanly, I think this is kind of probably what you would want. Like if you don't want to be like super masculine or super feminine, but more like in the gender neutral kind of zone of things, I feel like this is where you're going to go. Fantastic. If you guys ever get the chance to smell it, all time favorite right here. Okay. So the next fragrance is also by Jimmy Choo. So this right here is Jimmy Choo Fever, and I actually had this one before I had the other Jimmy Choo. I feel like this one is definitely more youthful. This is definitely more like grown woman seduction. This one is more like playful young woman who's also a little seductive, but she's more flirty seductive, flirty. So, Fever's Notes, let's go to those really quickly. So, this is, the top notes are Black Plum Nectar Lychee, and I looked up Lychee. Lychee is like a red, a red, a luscious red fruit. Citrus and fresh and fruity, but without being sweet, so it's not like a candy type of fragrance at all. Let me go back to the notes. And then the other top note is grapefruit. And the heart notes are heliotrope, vanilla orchid, and jasmine. The base notes are roasted tonka bean, benzoin, and sandalwood. So to break this one down, the reason why I feel like, honestly, this one, I struggled a bit describing it because it's so, like, complex in my brain. Like, like I said, you can't really pick apart the individual notes, so it's, like, kind of hard to describe. This one is a little bit more predictable, but it smells more luxe, so it's definitely worth the money. I think perfume's an investment, and if you want to, like, smell more sexy and sensual, sometimes if you just buy, like, a run-of-the-mill, like, cheaper perfume or body spray or something, like, anyone walking down the street can smell like that because it's not like someone took hours and hours of their life, like, handcrafting the scents and, like, you know, mixing the notes and things like that, so that's kind of my take on perfume. So, the reason why I like this one is because I'm a huge fan of plummy type of scents, like the dark, rich fruits. Love it. So, the black plum, you definitely smell that in here. You, you get, like, the brightness of, of grapefruit without it smelling, like, really citrusy. Because, like I said, I don't like those at all. Then for the heart notes, heliotrope, I looked up that as well, just for, you know, purposes of research. And this, people are saying it's kind of like heliotrope flowers smell like powdery, like almost like an almond, vanilla, cherry pie, caramel, but mainly almond is what people say. It's kind of like a, a cloud, very cloudy type of scent, fluffy cloud, sweet powdery scent. And you do get that from this as well. And then, let's get back to this, the base notes, roasted tonka bean. So you kind of get that, like, vanilla-y, vanilla, like, coffee-ish type of scent. And the sandalwood is incredible. I love scents that have sandalwood in it. And then benzoin is one of my new favorites. It's like a, 
it's almost like an amber, like a sappy type of scent. And benzoin is a rich gum resin obtained from the bark of a group of trees called styrax that smells sweet and smooth like vanilla. So benzoin has been my top favorite, one of my top favorite scents recently included in a perfume note profile. So that is fever. Now, like I said, if you want more of like a youthful, playful scent, but like the rich berries, like very seductive, rich, but more bright, definitely go for this. So, this 
This is so damn good. The top note is dark plum, so similar to this. That's why I knew I'd like it, because I like plum. And then myrrh, and I've never smelled something with myrrh in it before, but I believe myrrh is more of like a medicinal type of scent, and I didn't know how I was going to feel about that. But it's really classy. It's not like yuck. <laughs> and then the middle notes are night blooming jasmine. So I believe this is the one. Fever has jasmine in it as well. And this boyfriend perfume also has benzoin tears in it. And I believe it was this one that had benzoin in it. So again, that's kind of like the ambery, sappy type of scent very rich, but it has like that earthy note to it, not like dirt, but just like very like warm and cozy, like of the earth. So Benzoin Tears is in this. And then the base is Vegan Musk, Golden Amber, oh, Obsession, Patchouli, just like this has patchouli in it. And then Cystis Absolute. So I looked that up as well. So Cystis is actually a, it's extracted from the twigs and leaves of the Cystis plant. So it's like a flower and it has a rich, sweet, and warm aroma. So this one was actually my first introduction to like a different perfume because I really do wear the same perfume for years. Like I've had these for so long. And, like, all of college I've had, like, this one was probably, like, sophomore year, maybe freshman year, but I think sophomore year for sure. Yeah, sophomore year. And then this was, like, junior, senior year, and now, and I'm like, it's time for something new. So, I got this sampler. It was $4.99 just for the shipping. So, if you go on the Boyfriend Perfume website, which, honestly, if you guys want, I do recommend this a lot. It's $4.99 for the shipping, and you just type in the code free sampler. And they just send you the little card. It wears really well on the skin. Like, it smells very, very seductive. And she says it's, like, kind of more masculine. I don't necessarily agree with that. I don't think it's, like, florally perfumey. Like, it's not that at all. But it's also not, like, overly cologne -y. It's, like, very much, like, unisex. But honestly, I think it's more feminine. But if a guy did wear this... It does smell like a little perfume was mixed in with it, which is kind of the whole point of the boyfriend concept that she came up with. Now, before y'all go buy this, I will warn you, the lasting power is kind of trash. The scent, if I could have this in a more long-lasting scent, this would be my all-time favorite fragrance of current times. I'd say this is definitely my all-time favorite. I will never get rid of this. But this would have been kind of like a replacement for that. But it only lasts for like two hours and then it's gone. And it's so frustrating because it smells so good. But the price of it is why I'm not interested in buying the full size, I don't think. Because it is, let's go to my document. It is $65 for 1.7 fluid ounces. So for reference, this is 1.3 for 65. And it's an Eau de Parfum EDP. So this will last you literally until you shower. Like if you put it on in the morning, wear it at night, whatever. Like it's going to last you until you wash it off your body. So for this to be the same exact price as a perfume that only lasts a couple hours, I don't agree with. I don't think that's okay. But it's so disappointing because it's such a good scent, you guys. Like, I honestly think it is worth it for you guys to pay $4.99 just to smell and experience how good it is. Um, but other than that, I wouldn't recommend the full-size bottle. And um, the thing about Boyfriend, though, is that they have candles, room spray, hand cream, car, like little fragrance tags to put up. Uh, they have a rollerball perfume that has some oils in it, so it's like a moisturizing kind of thing, and you put it on your pulse points so that it's more, um, like strong and like sensual and wears really warm and cozy, and they also have like apparel, like sweatshirts and t-shirts and things like that, so it's more like you're buying into the idea of this like boyfriend concept. So, that leads me into my next perfume because I want something similar to this that's actually going to last. And after doing a bit of research and smelling something in the store, I came across replicas. Let's put it 
Replica's Jazz Club. So, Replica is a brand by Maison Margiela, and it is a Parisian brand. And Replica, if you guys are familiar with these, there's a whole line of Replica fragrances, and they're intended to, it says, reproduction of familiar scents and moments of varying locations and periods. So, it says, like, the, um, province and period that it was inspired by. So mine right here, Jazz Club, is inspired by Brooklyn, New York in the year 2013. So they all have different kind of storylines about them. And the fragrance description on this says heady cocktails and cigars. And at first I was like, yuck, like I'm not going to like that at all. And also it says that it's a male fragrance. But the thing about Replica is they're intended to be sex, male or female fragrance is what they market them as, but this jazz club is the only one that actually says on here male fragrance, so that I was like, hmm, let's see about that, so let me pull up the notes on the website, where did it go, here it is, okay, so the top notes, first of all, let's take a moment. like film myself doing thumbnails. Good enough, right? Okay, so the top notes are lemon. It says Prima 4. Don't know what that means. Prima 4 lemon, pink pepper, pink pepper, and neroli oil. So neroli really quickly is a light, sweet floral fragrance with an element of citrus, refreshing, honeyed, floral aroma. And it's commonly used as a top note in fragrances. So I've never experienced neroli before, didn't know if I was going to like that. Um, and then the middle notes are clary sage oil, rum absolute, java vetiver oil, and vetiver is a dry, earthy, woody, leathery, smoky type of scent that often you can find in masculine fragrances, colognes and candles and things like that. And then clary sage, I believe they were saying it kind of has like a lavender. Let's just look it up for you guys since this is supposed to be educational. Um, clary sage. Let's see, let's see. Smell. It's a sweet and herbaceous, ambery tones of fresh tobacco. And then we have the base notes of Styrax, resin, tobacco leaf absolute, and vanilla bean. So to break this down as to why I thought that I was going to like this is because in here, um, actually in all the boyfriend one that I just showed you guys, and then I believe this Jimmy Choo one had like a resin, um, ambery type of tone to it. So I knew I would like that about it. The vanilla bean, I do like vanilla. It's not like my favorite. Like I don't really want to smell like vanilla necessarily, but I do like the warmth and the coziness that vanilla gives. So this one, it is very masculine. So let me read you guys the little, like, description of what they're trying to sell it as. So, the tradition has been immortalized through the generations, handing down the address of this exclusive Brooklyn Jazz Club, an anthology of classic notes and coppery, coppery tones between deep armchairs and a handful of bar stools with subdued lighting reflected on the piano where cocktails linger, wafting their liquory, spicy scents. Um, and then it says something about uh, melodic brass tones, so you definitely get that from this. So the thing, let me spray it because it's been a while since I've had this on. I sprayed it on this morning whenever I went to the store, but I haven't reapplied since. I just got it like all over my hand. Oops. So this is definitely more masculine for sure. So if you're very uncomfortable with the idea of like smelling like cologne, don't get this. But if you're a person
person who really, really enjoys that type of scent, male or female. Again, it's marketed towards males, but if you're a female that really likes that sensual, seductive, sexy, like snuggle with your man type of scent, really, really recommend this. Now, I was a little bit concerned about the idea that it has cigar type of tones in it, but it, it doesn't scream that. People also said it's like supposed to be like a boozy fragrance because of this amber rum, but I don't really get like, you're not going to smell like alcohol. You're not going to be like, oh, that person just drank like tons of liquor. Like it doesn't smell like that. It definitely has that idea of rum, that idea of cozy, warmer drinks that people drink in the winter time or people that like, um, what is the other word? Like bourbon, whiskey, kind of things like that. But it's definitely more on the rum side because it says rum absolute. But it just gives that idea of that, that drink on ice on the rocks, baby. Um, what else about this? Tobacco leaf, like I said, you, you do smell that. Like, not to be ratchet, but if you guys are familiar with like the black and mild, like, stuff that you can buy from the gas station for like a dollar, you kind of get the slightest hint of that because it is tobacco. So if you like absolutely despise that scent, don't buy this because you will pick up on that note, although it's not like the main thing you'll smell. But the thing that I like most about this jazz club is that after a while, like the top notes kind of like wear away a little bit and then you're left with this resin vanilla bean combination with some tobacco leaf in it. So the tobacco leaf, it lingers with the masculinity long after you wear it, but it becomes more like cozy and doable, if that makes sense. And it doesn't like scream, a man just walked into the room. Whenever you first spray it, it definitely does give that effect. But the longer you wear it, the more it's just cozy, amber, resin, warmth with some vanilla bean in it. So this is very similar to this. Not very similar, like they're identical or that they're like super, super comparable because they're not. But like, this is the most similar thing to this that I could find after it dries down. Now, I honestly almost prefer the smell of this, but because it's so faint and it doesn't have any lasting power, this was the next best thing for me to get. Now, if I can, if you guys have any recommendations for like a very ambery, sensual, sexual, like, like very enticing, mysterious type of fragrance that's more on like the warm masculine side with like the patchoulis and the ambers and all that stuff, that's definitely more what I'm into right now. So if you have any recommendations and you guys know of any, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. And also just let me know in the comments what your favorite perfume is or cologne. I would love to hear that as well. I think fragrances are such a powerful thing and they really do just like create an experience in your mind and you'll always remember the time of your life that you had a certain fragrance and fragrances can bring us back whenever we smell it. If we don't wear one for a while and then we smell it again, it's like it brings you back to that time. So I think these are just very special to me personally, and I'm so glad that I could share it with you all. Now for the honorable mention, also, I know this video is super long, I didn't think it was going to be this long, oh well, but the honorable mention is one that I don't own, but this is my mom's, but I do wear it on occasion. So this, oh by the way, replica for the price, y'all, that shit's so expensive. So, replica for the one that I bought, this right here is a 0.3 ounces or 10 milliliters is $30. Now, for a flower bomb perfume, which is what I'm about to talk about, you can get a 30 milliliter, like more, you get 10 more milliliters than in this for $32. So this is really expensive. This is $30 versus if you could get 10 more milliliters, it's $2 more. So it's kind of like crazy. And then a 1.05 ounce is
is $72. So you're getting less than this. This is at 1.3 ounce. You would get less than this. And it's like $10 more. So it's very expensive. And then the 3.4 ounce, which is similar to this. This is a 3.3 ounce. The replica jazz club is $135, whereas this is $118. So you can see it's very up there. I know there's way more expensive perfumes that are like $300, but for me, like $135 is crazy. So this $30, I think, is the best way to be able to try it out and not feel horribly guilty about it. Like $30 for a quality fragrance that'll last the whole day. Good idea, in my opinion. Um, they have all the scents, so you can try them and see which one you like. But Flower Bomb, back to Flower Bomb. So this... It's not one that I want to purchase because it, it doesn't smell like me, if that makes sense. It's just like a fun one to throw on every once in a while whenever I'm home. So let's go to Flower Bomb really quickly, quickly, quickly. Did I take it off? I think I might have taken it off. Let me go look up Flower Bomb. Flower Bomb perfume notes. So.